Today, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly knot. That's right. Now, this is a butterfly knot right here. I have it nice and made up for you. You like that? Looks like a butterfly, kind of, sort of. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make this knot today. It's a very easy knot to make, and it can be used for a few different things. What are a few different things that you can use the butterfly knot for? Well, the butterfly knot most commonly used in river rafting and for sailing can also be used for team building activities such as the flying squirrel oh, yeah, or cool. um, a lot of times if you want to tie something off because it has that loop in it you just clamp it right to that loop and it's got two ends uh, that are uh, tied down. And well what about it. our kids who are washing? You know they're gonna make this knot. Yep. What's the best, what, what can they use it for? Now I, I have an idea. I right. actually have an answer Great. to that question. So, right. so why um, did I ask that question? So yeah you should have asked a question. Right. It has this little loop in it and That's you right. put it right in the middle of the rope and so say you were to make a rope that hung across your room or something like that. Yep. You can hang all sorts of cool stuff from the butterfly knot right like um Maybe, for instance, you can hang a... So, like, you have it like this hanging in like your room? Like that. Yeah, maybe you and can hang... You just, hang just like, right or there. a hanger. You can even put a hanger on there with yep. your, like, shirt on it. Yeah. But, or maybe you can hang... What, what else? What your, else do you think Your you umbrella, hang? if it's raining out. Oh, you, you can wanna, hang your umbrella on it. You want to make sure it dries out, right? We like to hang a lot of stuff up, like, on the walls and stuff like yeah. that. Like, decorate things. Maybe, so, maybe, you know, maybe your maybe tennis you, racket. Yeah, you put your tennis... Anything, actually. Or you could use it as, like, a kind of decoration. Maybe put a couple yeah. of lights along it or something I like, like to, that. you know, like, see this one right here? You could put, like, three or four more on there and it'll look pretty cool. Well, enough about talking about. Let's do what it. About let's it. let's do actually the knot. do let's the see, knot. Let's right? see you do the knot. Now, so, what kind of rope is this? First of all, I, I mean, where where do you? Can I use a string? Like, can I use kite string? To you do know, this? you could use string, but the problem with using string is it'll get too tight. Yeah. See, now this rope, I could get it tight, but I can't really close. See how I'm trying as hard as I can to make that close right there, like it is here, and flatten it out. But I just can't do it oh, okay. because there are over 50 different ropes inside this rope that's all interweaved in together. Oh, wow. So it's all Inter interweaved. So it's nice yeah. and strong. Right now, a rope like this, you wouldn't use for rock climbing, but you can use a rope like this as a backup anchor. Or if you were rock climbing and you could use it as your chalk bag rope, or you could use it as a sling to hold on to something. You know, you have it tied to you like this and you're holding on to something like a water bottle or a Nalgene or something uh -huh. if you're going on a hike. All right. So All right? so what do they have at home that they can tie this knot with? Maybe like some clothesline? Yeah, a clothesline rope like would work really well. You don't, just don't want to you just when you when you make the knot, you don't want to uh, make it as tight as you can cuz then it's going to be really difficult for you to get it out. Yeah. So don't I mean, I wouldn't advise you to try don't use your uh shoestring. Yeah, don't use Don't shoelaces. use like an electrical cord Twine, or anything electrical that's like electrical cord or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, like that has metal in it. We don't want yeah. you to do that cuz you might hurt yourself. Don't use anything that's like electric or anything like that. No, yeah, be, no. yeah. So so don't try to use rope it and it otherwise if you don't have the rope you can just skip this section, and yeah. then we'll see, you know, on another you know, day. Get, when get some, go to, go to EMS, go to a sporting Home goods store. Home Depot also has some good Yeah, they have really good rope, like a uh, uh, clothesline rope, like Pete said, would be really good. They have all different types of, of rope everywhere. All right, so, so we are done discussing it. We promise. Here we go. Here's the activity, the butterfly knot. The butterfly knot. So what you're going to do, right? The rope is about this long. You want to make sure you hold it in your hand with your thumb. You can hold it right with your thumb. You and see this that is right called there? the bite. That's right. This is the bite. Well, this would be our bite because we're going to be using this. You want to make sure the hand, the, the rope behind your hand is a little bit longer. See how that's longer? Because what you're going to do is you're going to take that rope. See how it's behind my hand? You're going to wrap it around once loosely. You don't want to you know, get it on there really tight. You're going to wrap it around loosely. Then you're going to wrap it around one more time. All right? That's two times. So that's two times. Now you can see on my hand how this looks. See that? It okay. looks like it's wrapped around All three times to me. It is. Well, you're gonna. You already have this right here. I see. You're gonna wrap it around once. One. You're gonna wrap it around twice. So you will have three. See how there's three right there. Okay. And now the one. next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this first one, the one that's that's loose, the bite part, and you're gonna go over the first one. See how I did that? Let's show you again. Ready? You're gonna go right over the first one. Cool. Right. Yeah. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that second one and you're gonna go over that second one. See how I did that? Now, like I said, you want to make it a little bit loose in your hand because you don't want to have it be too tight and you can kind of hold it with your thumb. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over it the first one. Then you're going to go over the second one, right? See how that looks right there? Those two? 
over the second one. Then what you're gonna do with that second one is you're gonna push it right through, right? I know that's a little bit difficult to understand. So let me show you again from the first step. Over, over, and then take that one, that, la that second one that you put over, and you go right through, right? You could take your hand out of it, and you can actually pull up on it. See right there? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna dress it again, because you always have to dress knots, all right? And then it'll come out like a nice, perfect butterfly knot. Let me show you one more time, and then we'll have Pete do it. All right. All right? I can't wait. So, over, over, keep it nice and loose. Then you're gonna take that first one, go over, take that second one, go over, and then you're gonna take that second one, and what are you gonna do? Pull it on through. Pull it right on through. You can pull it through, and remember, you don't wanna pull it down like this, because you don't want your loop to be that big, okay? You don't want your butterfly loop to be this big, because the more that you have a loop, the more room for error, okay? You don't wanna make it too small so it, it's like, you know, you could barely fit anything in there. You wanna make it just, just right. That's about, that's just about right, right there. So you just pull the two sides together and you make yourself a butterfly knot. Awesome. So let's have Pete try this and see if he can get it. All right, Pete? Yeah. Also, it's very easy to get out. You just pull the two ends where the loop meets together. You pull the two ends out and it'll just unravel all in itself. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do it right here for the camera. I have this hanging down and I'm gonna take this end, the longer end, I'm gonna wrap it around once and I'm gonna wrap it, oop, and I want it to be nice and loose. I'm gonna wrap it around one more time. Yep. And so we have it nice and loose and it looks like you see three pieces of rope here. One, two, three. We take the very first part, we put it over so now it's on the front of the line. Then we take this second one and we put it over and yep. then we pull it, pull this one that we just brought over right through all of the loops. We make a little bit of a, a bite or a bend right here. And so we have a little bit of that and then we pull both sides and oh, I blew it. Wah, wah, Let's wah, try it one wah, more time. Wah, 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 wah. I think what I did there was I just didn't have enough. Yeah, you know, I think what happened was on this side when you went to pull it through, it yeah. didn't it didn't have enough, like you said, so it just vanished. That's right. That's why we practice. That's right. So I take this first one, I put it oh, over. Right. Take the second one, I put it over. Right. And pull it through, and I pull my hand out of the way there, and then when I pull it on both ends. Yep. And now you pull up the top a little bit, so then it could get nice and. Nice and tight. There you go. There we go. And there, there go. is my butterfly so knot. Let's, let's show. So like I said, all you have to do, see how this loop is right in right here? All you have to do is if you flip it over, whoop, that loop goes through to this side right here. So it could get really tight. I can make it really, really tight. So then it's a little bit difficult to get out. But still, if it's really tough to get out and you're trying to fiddle with it, if you just take this, go on this side a little bit, pull it on this side a little bit, wiggle it a little bit, and then all you have to do is just pull it right through. Awesome. And the knot is completely gone. All right, can I, I just want to say one thing about this, which is for you physics buffs out there, once we get this We have a lot of physics buffs watching. We do. Once we get this butterfly knot, and once you, you master it, one of the cool things about a butterfly knot, and one of the main reasons that it exists, is that we can, this, the, the way that, uh, strength or force is transferred through this rope is that it's almost as if we just have a loop here that's not affected by anything that happens on either end up here. So like if Brian and I were having a tug of war, no matter how hard we pulled, it wouldn't affect this little loop. That's and that's right. why we can keep this loop here, we can put stuff on it or whatever, and we don't have to worry because all of the force is being transferred straight on through. Yeah, straight through. Awesome, huh? All right, straight. well that is it.